We're talking more about Hillary Clinton's release of her medical records and Donald Trump, who today, in a taping for uh, Dr. Oz's show, announced his weight. Donnie earlier said today he said it was 236. There are conflicting reports, though, from people who are in the room. Some are saying that Trump said his weight was 267. Big difference with that. We're going to have to wait and see when we see the actual show. But we're going to press forward now to talk about Hillary Clinton and the release she just made with us. Bloomberg Politics Clinton reporter Jennifer Epstein from Washington, D.C. and Guerin, who covers Hillary Clinton, the national political reporter for The Washington Post, and also here in studio, The New York Times, Jim Rutenberg. Welcome all. Jennifer Epstein, start with you to kind of break down as we go through this. What did Hillary Clinton announce release today about her medical history and, and present status that's new? And what didn't she put out today that people were looking for? Well, it was just kind of a rundown of the same information that she had released a little bit over a year ago. Uh, things like uh, her cholesterol level and all of that, and all those kinds of things were in the normal level. The only thing that was unusual was that she has pneumonia right now, and it was described as a mild case that she's taking uh, the antibiotic Leviquin for right now and on a 10-day dose of that. Uh, and that's really the only thing that, that, that really stands out that's, that's immediate. But there is this new piece of information that we hadn't learned before, which was that back in January, she had sinusitis and an ear infection, and ultimately it was having so much pain and had fluid in her ear that a little tube was put into her ear. So that is a new thing that we hadn't known about before. I think it's a pretty standard thing for people who get ear infections, but it's still, you know, it hadn't been out there, and now it is. And, Jim, I'm sorry, go ahead. And Garen, in the Washington Post newsroom, how are you all analyzed this so far? Well, I think she was, uh, as Jen said, I mean, she. Th this is a uh, an update of uh, existing health information released by her doctor last year. Um, it's it's in summary form. It is about as detailed as most presidential candidates and uh, the sitting president uh, himself have released in in recent years. But it is far from exhaustive. And I think you know, to, for somebody who has been the subject of as much. Uh, speculation baseless entirely according to her campaign uh, this isn't going to to, to settle or answer um, all of of those uh, conspiracy theories by a long shot Jim was today a good day or a bad day for the American public in that we've got 60 some odd days to the election today was spent on cholesterol levels I can't remember any presidential race this much time obviously they're both 70 they're in fit health by to Mark's earlier point what they're doing are we wasting too much time on this I don't know, because I think the hang-up here is the, the, the willingness to disclose information. So I know what you mean, yes, and I'm sure much of the American public thinks that. At the same time, it's why is it pulling teeth to get this basic information? And in both cases, and here in, in Mrs. Clinton's health records, it's wait till something bad happens, and then we'll give you some information. We don't want that from our leaders. My theory is the reason it's hard is because they're both 70. And the same way they tell you when you're 58, don't get an MRI because the MRI is going to tell you X, Y, and Z. They're both going to be in the defensive position. Because even now, we're going through a list of 17 things that Hillary has, but where are those two that he, she didn't show us? They're both 70. Health is not going to be their asset, period. She's supposed to go back out on the road tomorrow. Yeah, do we know, North, do we North know that she's recovered? Uh, Bill Clinton says she's recovered. He said he talked to her earlier today, and she was doing great when he was campaigning for her in Las Vegas. So, you know, we have to kind of assume that he knows what he's talking about there. Um, you know, she kind of wanted to keep going all the way through, and, you know, it was only because of the incident on Sunday that she stopped campaigning. And I would guess that, that other than a couple of brief mentions and maybe even taking some questions from reporters tomorrow, uh, she's going to move ahead as, as normal and try not to dwell on this because that was what she was attempting to do uh, when she had the incident on Sunday. And before the world changed with baskets of deplorables and, and, and what happened at Ground Zero, Hillary Clinton was talking to the traveling press almost every day. She goes back out tomorrow. Do you expect her to resume that? Well, we, we have no specific indication of it, but uh, I think I would think it's likely. She certainly is going to want to be seen walking, talking, behaving like uh, the, the Democratic uh, presidential nominee uh, in full tomorrow. And, and part of that should be talking to the press. Uh, it'll be the first time she's been back on her plane and, and, and the press with her uh, uh, tomorrow. So the, the, the setting is sort of natural. I also just think it's, you know, it's kind of the time in the campaign that the campaign, uh, in the 
election that the campaign had already set aside as, you know, Hillary tries to make the election about her instead of about Donald Trump, focuses on her policy positions. Uh, for her, that means she actually does have to talk to the press whether she wants to or not. So now they're going to have to try to make up ground from the days they lost uh, and get back to that point uh, in the election and the calendar they'd set for themselves. Jim, we mentioned earlier in the show that uh, Hillary putting out her health care points are going to obligate Trump to do the same. I'm giving a little bit more thought and saying, does Trump skate at a different level that with his followers, he has the ability to say, my doctor said I'm fine, that's all you get, and that he is held to a different level of accountability? I think he is. I mean, he's, and by the way, he's presenting his medical records on, on television. Exactly. Or almost, I don't want to quite call it a reality show, but it's almost the same Can't difference, it right? Can't make it up, right? So is that how he'll go, you know, from the White House? Like he'll go on Dr. Oz, you know, if there's a problem when he's in the Oval Office. But um, so, yeah, I think he is held to a slightly different standard that's been driving the Clinton people nuts. But at the same time, they're trying to hide behind it, too. Hey, we, now we've released more than Trump. Well, it took you, you know, what, uh, let's look at what day it is and, you know, the belated information about your condition. And when you went to the Clinton campaign's website today to look at the actual letters about Secretary Clinton and about her running mate, Tim Kaine, uh, the, the immediate pop up there was look at what basically what look at we're, what we're doing, so much transparency and Donald Trump. Trump hasn't released his medical records or his tax returns. And that was a message not just for the press, but for anybody. No, that was the like website. the pop-up. Yep. I've never seen anything quite like that. Jim, real quick, we got less than 30 <laughs> seconds. If you could ask Donald Trump one question today, what would it be? Oh man, that is one question. Yeah, I only get one. One uh, question interview. When are you going to release your taxes, and why haven't you so far? And one Hillary Clinton question. Two seconds. Um, what is your right. Libya policy? <laughs> Jim Greenberg, Jennifer Epstein, and Garen. Oh, thank you all. Thank you for playing along. We'll, we'll do more during recess.